Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. How's our readiness looking? Ooh. Is that completely maxed out now? Holy shit. Damn, that's looking good. Even after losing Thessia. We are more than ready for the Reapers. Not after we took down that Reaper on Rack. I don't know. Yeah, but there's no way we could have stopped every Reaper on Thessia. The Asari should have jumped in earlier. True. Commander, Cerberus has attacked a comm facility on Onteron. I've updated the galaxy map. Thanks for listening, Commander. It was a good idea. And right now, it's the best lead we've got. In any event... Good luck. Next trainer. Uh, good, you're opening this message. This isn't actually a sorry military command. They're busy heading to what's left of their planet. So you, so you survived our fight on Thessia. You're not as weak as I thought, but never forget that your best wasn't good enough to stop me. Now an entire planet is dying because you lack the strength to win. The legend of Shepard needs to be rewritten. I hope I'm there for the last chapter. It ends with your death, KL. Fuck you, KL. I am so looking forward to sticking it to you. Quite literally. Piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So, a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. Missing the point, so the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself! The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. So Thessia, huh? I guess the Asari are wishing they had fewer dancers and more commandos right about now. Too soon? In case you hadn't noticed, we just lost a few million people. This isn't the time. You see this? Tip tree. Little colony out in the ass end of nowhere. My dad lives there. So does my sister. Reapers rolled in about two weeks ago. So you can assume that I'm generally aware there's a war on Commander. So why the jokes? Because Edie says that according to your armor's metabolic scans, you're under more stress now than during the Skillian Blitz. Like more than Elysium, where it was pretty much you versus 10,000 Batarians trying to kill you. And the last time I had a briefing with Anderson, he told me to take care of you. The guy leading the resistance on Earth is worried about you. And I'm supposed to help. I appreciate the thought, Joker. But I'm fine. The hell you are. You're like half robot at this point. No offense, Edie. And it's my fault. When the Collectors blew up the first Normandy, you died because I wouldn't leave. Because you had to come back for me. Couldn't leave the best pilot in the fleet behind, could I? Yeah, well, I guess that would have looked bad on your report. Come on. We've got work to do. Well, that ended quickly. Commander. Shepard, I have a question about human behavior. This isn't the best time, Edie. Perhaps humor? A penguin is driving through the Arizona desert. I'm not in the mood. A lively rendition of La Marseillaise? No. Very well. I will maintain a respectful silence until you indicate otherwise. Oof. All right, let's go have a word with everyone else. Shepard, 
Shepard. This wasn't your fault. It's not about fault. I was supposed to stop them. You will. I don't know if I can do this, Tally. Earth, Palavin, Thessia. I'm risking everything to build the Crucible, and I'm not even sure what it does. Who am I to make that call? You're the one who was right, all along. You fought when no one else would, when nobody else believed you. And if that's not enough, you're the man I love. Don't forget that, no matter what happens. Oh, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. You're welcome. All right. Anything going on in here? No. Nope. Nope, no one in here either. I could talk to Liara. Dr. Tassoni has gone to speak with the Prothean. Right. What's going on in here then? Any word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. We'll take every scrap of good news we can get. I wish I had more, though. Why? I just had to make a tough call with the Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. That's a hell of a gamble. No other options? If there are, I can't see them. It all comes down to the Crucible now. And ruthless calculus. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? This all has to be taking a toll. There's only so much fight in a person. Only so much death you can take before... Before your friend picks you up, dusts you off, and tells you you're the best damn soldier he's ever met. We'll get through this. We always do. Thanks, Garrus. Not something you can ever get used to. Seeing a world go down like that. Thousands of years of civilization on fire. But it wasn't your fault. Thessia was already gone by the time we got there. And maybe the elusive man did win one, but so what? I've lost a few fights in my time, and I'm still here. It's because I always made you... A battle doesn't make a war, Shepard. We're still in this. All right. No, she didn't really finish that last sentence. All right, let's go uh, see Liara and Javik. That's not true. We earned our place in the galaxy. Stop denying reality, Asar. Your people took the knowledge of my people. From the beacon. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni, and I'd have... Hey, settle down. My home was just destroyed, and all he can do is gloat. Given what's happened today, I think you owe Liara an apology, Javik. Apologize for the truth? For not doing more. You're a Prothean. You were supposed to have all the answers. How could you not stop this from happening? We believed you. Long ago, we saw the potential in your people. Even then, it was obvious. The wisdom, the patience. You were the best hope for this cycle. So you were guided when necessary. Well, it didn't work. You're still alive, aren't you? Your world may have fallen. But as long as even one Asari is left standing, the fight isn't over. I guess that goes for Protheans, too. Despair is the enemy's greatest weapon. Do not let them wield it. Liara to Sony. Aww. That was unexpected. Thank you. We still need her talents. 
If grief overcomes her, she will be lost to us. So did you actually mean what you said? Does it matter? Liara's been a good friend to me. It matters. Then I will tell you what you want to hear. I meant what I said. Carry on. I'm told you spoke with a VI of one of my people. It seems another Protheon still fights the Reapers. If there is to be victory in this war, it will be for all cycles. The living will avenge the dead. And do not concern yourself with Thessia's fate, Commander. The loss of a planet is insignificant next to the loss of the galaxy. He's not wrong. Alright, we haven't spoken to Diane Allers for a bit. Let's see how she's doing. stare during our interview. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Alright, fair enough. Alright, let's check in on Steve and Vega. Everything okay, Shepard? Commander? Alright, nothing much to say there. Vega, how you doing? for what it's worth. I know how it feels to lose like that. I know that doesn't make it easier, but you're just human like the rest of us. If you're trying to make me feel better, it's not working, Lieutenant. Hey, everyone on this ship knows you did all you could. You need to cut yourself some slack. Whatever it takes to get that data back from Cerberus, we're behind you. Whatever it takes to end this. Noted. You were right, Vega. Good job. All right. All right. Now this unpleasantness is out of the way. Get some stuff done. <coughs> Anything else in here? Nope. Let's sort out this communication hub and then we'll go to uh <coughs> Sanctuary. Ooh. Right, not much to read to do there. Let's go, Steve. <sighs> They're locking on to me, moving out of range. Miss Adam, we've landed. What are we looking at? Now 
We'll keep them from hacking in. Need to make sure I search everything. Pretty sure there's something I need to pick up around here. to pick up all right let's deactivate this Die, thank you. Oh, fuck off. Is that one down? Miss Adam, come in. Miss Adam, are you there? She must be afraid they'll find her if she responds. We need the final coordinates. Grace, listen to me. Can't talk. They're right outside. I know you're scared. This is more than you signed up for, but I won't let you down. Promise. the hell happened there oh, I'm sorry that's bullshit
bloody phantoms. Over there. All right, never mind. All right, last one. Here we go. Commander, they've almost got the doors open. Help! Got her covered, Commander. Area cleared. Picking up Miss Sato, then heading back to the rendezvous point. Good job, Lieutenant. Okay, maybe there was nothing here to pick up. Hmm? Thought there was. Maybe I'm wrong. Our communication station is secure. Operations in this theater are safe again. No small task to keep it that way. How is Miss Sato doing? She has to be transferred to a nearby Alliance station. She wants to help however she can. Good. We need all the help we can get. Hack it out. There we go. Uh, we'll head to Sanctuary now, I think. Yeah, we've got time. So what do we know, Shepard? Edie? The Sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in Sanctuary. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Sir, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak. I'll, I'll try to boost it. Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Here we go. Seeing some damage, Commander, but no activity. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Pretty big mess, Shepard. Lots of combat. Yeah, but who was fighting? The radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. We got trouble! Hmm, a half step. Come on!
I saw it. Phantom. Take them out before they get close. like the Reapers were chasing them out. About time they started killing each other. True. Ooh, what's this? Reddits. Doesn't know there's anything else here. All right, let's head indoors. Thanks, I hate it. For your safety, communication devices are strictly forbidden. What happened here? I don't know. Come on. Cerberus on the move. Came from that tower. Then that's where we're headed. Oh shit. Front desk, civilian processing ratio ratios, adults 60% sent to integration, children 85% sent to integration. Suitable candidates are being assigned to temporary living areas in alphabetical order. Family units are being preserved for ease of processing. B. Sorted out refugees. That's a lot of people. Come on, let's keep looking. Uh huh. There is room for all new arrivals within I figure in another week I can finish off the remaining hours on my contract and move from staff housing into sanctuary itself. I feel a little guilty that I'm getting an upgrade from standard accommodations, but that's the deal. Do your time at the front desk, get the perks. One more week. Hmm. That sounds suspicious. Question. Got a fragment of something here. I can't call right now, but I'll send this as soon as I can. My little girl got sick. That's why I left. I love you, but I have to take care of her. The clinics were closing their doors to refugees. I couldn't borrow credits from you. I don't know where I learned about sanctuary. Around, I guess. Seemed perfect. Somewhere to hide, you know? Just till she got better. I can see the place out the window. It's huge. They already have people waiting for us. Off-world technology is not... Got another one. We land in a few minutes. You should see this place, Dad. It's amazing. Look, I'll record a bunch of stuff and send it to you. They warned us about no comms until we're through processing. What I tell you, top-notch security. Can't wait till you get here. Yeah, about that. Got some bodies, Shepard. Casualties. Both sides. Tomorrow. 
None of your nonsense. Looks like a dead end. We need an exit. Keep looking. Oh, no, not going through there yet. Shepard. That's Miranda. She can wait. Thank you. You not hiding anything? Anything around here? No. All right. Okay. Let's go see what Miranda wants. Anything around here? No. A security panel. Shutting it down. What's going on? That Cerberus tech, all right, but there's something different about it. Modifications? A lot of modifications. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. Always have a good scout around, make sure I don't miss anything. Like I did on Omega, like an idiot. Cerberus and using Reaper technology. This is going to be bad, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, lots of credits, thank you. More armor. The command center, by the looks of it, needs power. Look around for a switch. Anything else in here before I click it? No. Power switch. There. Oh, that, was, that was simple. What is this? Those are the refugees, right? They're just rounding them up and killing them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. Creepy. Turning them into husks without the dragon teeth. Come on. Why create husks? They're just more troops for the Reapers. They could destroy the facility if they escaped. It seems like a stupid risk. The Reapers attacked because this place was a threat. We need to find out why. Confirmed unsuitable materials reassigned for recycling. Lovely stuff. Shutting down the power. Reaper forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. It should keep them out of the entrance as well. Shepard, she doesn't know he's here. 
Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. All right. Kind of you slippery bastard. Not surprised. Thought you were all taken care of. Got to be more where they came from. Undoubtedly. Right. I spent the last week making small adjustments to increase processing efficiency. There is no shortage of subjects. Indeed, I'm told there's a long line outside the main gate. The deception is an unfortunate necessity. Time is very short. Scumbag. Come on. Shit, I'm out of ammo. No, I'm not. That was a lie. I have ammo again. Oh, those banshees, they take a lot. Alright. Okay. Anything else around here? Any any more logs? Any more info? You out of power? Dr. Nuri's legacy work with subject Paul Grayson provided a key element to our work here. Using the addictive drug Red Sand to break down the will was inspired, but proved unreliable for general application. We've proven that adrenaline and its cross-species equivalents is most effective and efficient. It's hard to imagine what this place was like at full operation. Not sure I'd want to. The pursuit of efficiency has revealed an important fact. The Reaper's use of dragon's teeth to create husks is ingenious. The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed conversion to the final husk state. Very concise, Henry. You must be proud. Figure out how Reaper indoctrinations. Terminal's damaged. Hang on. Reapers wanted this place shut down. Maybe we'll find out why. It doesn't make sense. Thought Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? You got it, Shepard. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? <sighs> Draw them in and throw them in a meat grind. She said that shipments were sent to the elusive man. Maybe we can use that to find him. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. 
then that's where we're going. Uh, rejected subjects have proven useful for preliminary genetic testing. The death rates are 100% of course, but the data being gathered is critical to improve subsequent testing on viable subjects. Note, only approved personnel with Alpha 3 and above level security clearance are allowed access to the genetic waste testing area. Be aware that security breaches of any kind will result in immediate contract termination. And we all know what that means when it comes to Cerberus. Oh, Jesus. Where are you? Oh, you're dead. Father is working for the elusive man. Yeah, hold on. We've fixed that part out already. We're very close. Understanding the indoctrination process is one thing. However, turning it to our advantage is proving to be quite another. This is assembly line science. The sheer brute force of numbers and repetition is doing the thinking for us. Effective. Discovery happens at a pace. Creating these husk creatures was our first success. While not true husks, they still respond to Reaper signals. More work ahead, but we are moving forward. Absolute madman. All right. I remember in an effort to streamline our waste elimination process, a high grade liquefaction compound has been added to our alkaline hydrolysis disposal systems. Our goal is to ensure that our processing system can meet the expected processing ratios as much as more subjects arrive at this facility. As a result, personnel must wear level 4 hazmat suits at all times while in the disposal area. Lovely. All right, where am I going? Ah, here we go. Heavy resistance outside the tower. If you're receiving this, I've got evidence you cannot ignore. Confirmation that my father is working for the elusive man. Connection established. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. Controlling Reaper forces. Is that possible? I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. 
Now we know why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. They must have discovered what Cerberus was doing. That's bad news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Hold on, Shepard. There's more. Damn it. I hope she's ready. Yeah, we read that. Right, let's go. Dirty little shits. Of all the things we can. I see it. Shepard, a way out. This will get us closer to the tower. Only way to travel. This way. Yep, I think we're good to go. Of course they are. Damn it. Bloody banshees. I see a doorway. Let's move. Uh, 
Uh, foreign material present, pod integrated compromise, subject deactivated. All right. Don't know what that did. Research data. Tower access granted. Yay, level sixty. Get ready. Shepherd. A commander Shepherd. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. <laughs> Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary, now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? All right, take her. <laughs> But I want out alive. Deal. <laughs> no deal. <laughs> Did he hurt you? Are you all right? Nice I'm job, Miranda. Sorry. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just. I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard, fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. Are you all right? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <laughs> Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up in Kai Lang. He survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. This was my fight. It's been a long time coming. You did it. It's over. Yes. I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes. You can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? The research data is gone, but I've still got basic facility information, like shuttle arrivals and departures, Cerberus included. It's not a direct link, but it's something to work with. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. A tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. Not quite, but... Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is... exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I've got to follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communications Grambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortex, by my father. Cortex, we need Henry a pickup at the tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. 
Damn right. The elusive man has gone over the edge. Well connected. Absolute insanity. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Severus lab you raided hinted at something big, but we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter, just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reavers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reavers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Excellent stuff. Priority Cerberus headquarters. Right. That's the mission we cannot do just yet because that is the end game. Point of no return. So, with that in mind, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This will be a Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.